YouTube, uh, this is Vargas, recording live from the Vargas Vault, back at you with another collection pickup video. Um, last collection pickup video I did uh, was about two weeks ago, I want to say. Yeah, about two weeks ago. And uh, within those two weeks, I was able to get some stuff from the flea markets, uh, from Movie Freak Bazaar, and uh, yeah, I, I have enough to share. Now... It, it, it's just that um, I can't help myself, honestly. Uh, when it comes to movies, I, I really, really love movies, and I like collecting movies, and I like, you know, uh, looking at the boxes, and then uh, looking at the movies, and looking at the special features and everything, so uh, it's why I get a little crazy with movies, so yeah, but let's get started with a couple of stuff. Uh, I was able to pick up some video games, some uh, PlayStation 1 video games, which, uh, if you're into video games, you know the retro scene is kind of kind of crazy right now. Uh, the whole video game scene is, is insane right now, uh, especially with the release, release of the NES and the Super NES minis. Uh, just a crazy time to, to be a video game person because, uh, yeah, the retro stuff is really expensive. It's been... A good long while since I found any Nintendo uh, cards cheap, uh, 64 stuff like that. But uh, sometimes uh, looking at the CD uh, racks at the flea markets, I, I sometimes I come across some PlayStation One games. So I came across uh, this uh, Tall Infinity PlayStation One game, which is a puzzle game. Basically, uh, you're in this tower and you have to. Uh, get rid of these uh, pieces uh, so that they start disappearing. So looking forward to that. Also uh, picked up this almost minty, if it wasn't because of this, Scratch Monster Rancher, Monster Rancher 2. Now this series, uh, or this game in particular, was interesting because you could put uh, CDs or other uh, PlayStation 1 games into the uh, console and it would generate randomly uh, these uh, like cards that you would use to progress and uh, play the game. So very very interesting dynamic that you would you know you would use other CDs to uh, create cards within this this game. I thought that that was very very interesting. And like I said, other than a slight scratch in the jewel case, which is n not that bad. I mean, um, I could just find an, another uh, jewel case and uh, put the game in there but really really interesting game looking forward to popping this in the PlayStation 3 because um, I don't know if I mentioned this before but the PlayStation 3 actually plays uh, PlayStation 1 games with no problem so I thought that was cool uh, then uh, because I've never seen this before and I, I am building in my discography a um, Taylor Swift collection I saw this and I picked it up Taylor Swift uh, songs of the season, which is everyone and their mom uh, that uh, sings, uh, comes out with a Christmas CD. So I was like, why not? And also, for my wife, I picked up Totally Buble, a uh, Michael Buble soundtrack. Uh, this is actually uh, the soundtrack of Totally Blonde, which I've never seen. Uh, but it has a bunch of songs made and sung by Michael Buble. And my wife really, really likes Michael Bublé, so added that to the collection. Also, for my daughter, I picked up the soundtrack for Mulan. I actually really, really like the cover uh, in this, so really cool. Um, I'm building my uh, daughter's Disney discography. Not only am I trying to get as many Disney movies as I can, but also the soundtracks, because there are a lot of... Uh, songs in the movies that are pretty catchy, so this is Mulan, and again, really awesome cover. And uh, for me, uh, to complete, or to add, I'm sorry, to my uh, movie soundtracks, because there's a lot of songs, especially 80s movies, uh, the 80s uh, were filled with awesome songs, and, um, uh, you know, movies had killer soundtracks uh, way back when. So, to add to my movie soundtrack, I pick up the soundtrack of Top Gun, which I didn't own. And, of course, this has the Danger Zone song by Kenny Loggins, uh, which is awesome. So, added this to the movie collection. Also, I'm still going through a wrestling kick. Um, I was not able to uh, see No Mercy, which is the last pay-per-view that WWE had. 
but I, I'm, I'm trying to keep up more often with wrestling. I'm also revisiting a lot of old stuff. So I'm still riding the wrestling kick, but uh, I was able to find two figures uh, to add to the collection, and this is Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan's elite WWE figure. And uh, uh, as I'm, you know, getting into uh, buying some toys, uh, some action figures, uh, I do some research and I figure out that there's these uh, movie John, uh, my good pal movie John, actually uh, shared a channel about a guy that uh, picks up vintage WWE figures. So there's a lot of figures that are worth a pretty penny. And of course, there's variants like you do on uh, collectible things. There's variants. Uh, there's maybe a, a, the same figure, but one has a different color shirt or a different accessory. Uh, there's different kinds. There's, uh, there's these figures that you put into a wrestling ring and they talk. Um, uh, there's the elite kind, which have... a bunch of articulations so just a, a whole world of, of figure collecting but uh, I, I don't want to get too deep di too deep into that I just want to collect uh, the main guy so I was able to get Daniel, Daniel Bryan who of course won the awesome match in Wrestlemania 30 which I just saw yesterday so I picked up Daniel Bryan uh, and I picked up the great one himself The Rock the people's champ the Rock with his eyebrow, his new tattoos, even though it's they're kind of faded here. The Rock, oop, the Brahma Bull. So yeah, and uh, of course now he's a big movie star, so this will uh, fit into my wrestling collection and also my movie collection because you know he's been in a whole bunch of movies. And um, I was downtown. Uh, I went to Movie Freak today, just today, to pick up some some movies that I ordered with him and uh, pick up something that my wife had ordered. So I was uh, going back home, uh, past downtown, uh, and I went to this uh, wrestling shop that sells wrestling art, uh, stuff. Uh, uh, it's uh, really expensive wrestling stuff. So I didn't have that much money. But I was, as I was walking out, uh, I found a, uh, a spot that sold wrestling masks. And uh, I found one that I really wanted, and that's this one. Now this is from a wrestler, and it fits good, called uh, Dr. Wagner, Dr. Wagner Jr., to be precise. And uh, I, I like his masks because they're very uh, colorful, they're very Mexican. You know, you have the, the eagle, the red, white, and green, red, white, and green, which are the Mexican colors uh, for our Mexican flag. So I really, really dig his masks, and... Uh, uh, last month they had their big uh, wrestling event. It, there, it's the equivalent of WrestleMania here, and uh, he had a mask versus mask match with a uh, psycho clown. And uh, uh, Dr. Wagner is a legend here in Mexico, um, and uh, he lost his mask. He had to unmask in front of everyone, give out his real name, which is a big deal in, in Mexican luchador uh, culture, and uh, you know give his mask to the other guy. So. That was a big thing, and I, I, I've wanted uh, to add Dr. Wagner to my collection, and now I have Dr. Wagner. So, now I have Blue Demon, I have El Santo, Dr. Wagner, and I still need to find uh, Tinieblas and the Rey Mysterio mask, which I don't own a Rey Mysterio mask. That kind of bugs me. Uh, last thing I'm going to share is movies, because I love movies, like I mentioned. Uh, picked up the third season of Dexter. Uh, this was a really, really cool show, the first couple of seasons, uh, up, up, I think up to season, I think it was season four where they, when they killed Rita, uh, that's when uh, it kind of lost, kind of lost me because Rita was what, was the character that was, I mean, it's, it, it's an emotional hit to the groin, uh, losing that character, but, uh, she was like the, the, the person that was trying to vindicate Dexter, and, uh, he was, with her, he was losing his some homicidal tendencies, and when they killed the character off, he just and just didn't, uh, the series didn't feel good for me. But uh, season three is still good. Need to get season four uh, because I, I really like that season. Uh, picked up for my daughter Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Uh, it's a tradition to try to watch the Disney's uh, Mickey Mouse Christmas Carol because I freaking love the animation. 
and I love the story. And uh, but a, a lot, a lot of years after that, they released this thing, and it has some real good stories. It has Mickey and Minnie, it has uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie reliving Christmas forever and ever and ever, kind of like uh, Groundhog Day, and it has a nice goofy story. Uh, so this this is pretty good. I hope my daughter will like it. Also added Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. This is basically the pilot for the animated TV show that Buzz, Buzz Lightyear had, uh, which I thought was cool. Picked up Very Bad Things, which is a really it's like it's it's like The Hangover, but uh, worse and darker. It's like it has some really really dark moments, really 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 dark comedy. So this thing released in the 90s, and the 90s were like this, this, uh, this mean-spirited decade. I don't, I don't, I like certain things of the 90s, but, I don't know, it had this mean spirit that the 80s didn't have. But this is, this is a pretty good movie. If you like The Hangover, watch this. This is, this is like the, uh, like the worst thing that can happen in a bachelor party. Uh, everyone gets messed up in this, in this movie, but it's kind of entertaining. Uh, then I went old school, picked up Eddie Murphy Raw. Uh, Eddie Murphy in a stand-up uh, comedy uh, movie. Eddie Murphy was great. Uh, he still, uh, I I haven't liked an Eddie Murphy Eddie Murphy movie since. Whew, I I think uh, Doctor Doolittle I, I enjoyed, but I haven't seen anything with him that I liked. Uh, Tower Heist was okay, uh, but this is this is classic Eddie Murphy. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching this again. Picked up Adventure Time, Jake the Dad, Adventure Time I like, um, I don't have no idea how many, uh, DVDs there are, I only have one more in this one, but I really like the cover. Uh, picked up some anime, I wish I could have found some more of these, but this is, uh, Great Teacher Onisuka, Volume 3, and Great Teacher Onisuka, Volume 4. Now this is about a rebel, a biker, uh, and his dream, uh, as is the case in most uh, Japanese manga and anime, he has a dream. He has a dream that he wants to uh, fulfill. And the dream of this no good hoodlum is to be a teacher. So uh, that's what the anime is all about. Uh, him, you know, he's a, a, a badass. He's a he's a rebel, but he wants to be a teacher. And he gets into trouble uh, because of his nature, but he still tries to help out people. Uh, in his teaching dream, so uh, really good anime. I'm um, hoping I can get the rest of the volumes because I'm missing volume one and two. Then finally, finally tracked down a copy of this. Been hun hunting for this for a while now, and I picked up a copy of Earth Girls Are Easy. Came out in 1988 with Jeff Goldblum, Jim Carrey, and one of the Wayans brothers, uh, Damon Wayans. It's about the, the, the this group of three hairy aliens. Uh, that land on Earth and, uh, you know, try to, you know, um, hook up with Earth people. Um, I, I, I liked it, and of course this will go to my Jim Carrey collection. Even though it's more of a Jeff Goldblum, but Jim Carrey is in this. Um, memory's not the good. I, I mean, I, I could Google it, of course. So I don't know if Jim Carrey's first movie was Once Bitten or this. So I'll, I'll probably Google it and put an annotation here, but... Uh, yeah, this is going to go to my Jim Carrey collection. Uh, these I bought with Movie Freak Bazaar. Um, finally, finally added a copy of Lock Up with Sylvester Stallone. Um, I like the movie. It's, it's, it's a very depressing movie because of what happens to Stallone in this, but I like it. And every time that Movie Freak Bazaar would put it online, uh, people would always beat me to it. So finally... Finally, I was able to add a copy of Lock Up to my Stallone collection. So, yeah, I need Over the Top. But I also added Avenging Angelo. Yeah, he's a hitman that's trying to protect uh, this girl here from... Uh, she's the daughter of a mob boss, but the mob boss, mob boss gets taken out. So a bunch of people want to take her out, and Stallone has to protect her. Uh, so, yeah. But Over the Top, I need Over the Top. Uh, picked up Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, which is a, a very unique movie because it's based off of an old uh, Chinese movie, but uh, this guy, kind of like, uh, he, he uses the technology that they did with Forrest Gump, and he puts himself digitally uh, in the movie, so it's, it's, it's the movie, but 
they erase the the main character and put him in it, and uh, they do they they redo the the dub, so it's uh so it's a, it's it's a weird experiment, but I think it's pretty cool. I, I freaking love uh kung fu movies, so uh, this is a very cool parody of that. I I've been looking for that one for a while too. Uh, to add to my Jackie Chan collection, Jackie Chan 1911 Revolution, which is a drama for Jackie Chan, and uh, not not too. This is more like a historical piece, uh, not that much uh, martial arts, but it's Jackie Chan, and I freaking love Jackie Chan. So uh, yeah. Speaking of the great Jackie Chan, I picked up Heart of Dragon. Uh, this is Jackie Chan and Samoa Hung. Uh, I don't I I know very little about this movie. I don't remember seeing it. Maybe I did, and I don't remember it. But uh, looking forward to this. Uh, and I always that's the thing I, I like about collecting for an actor uh, or a director or a genre. Like uh, I love that Jackie Chan, and I love especially those really cheesy, bad dubbed kung fu movies. The, those are my bread and butter. Uh, I grew up watching that when I was a kid, so uh, I, I I freaking love it. So. The genre itself is 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 super juicy for me, and uh, you know the great thing about collecting for these people, like I might have mentioned in one of my uh, tales from the Vargas Vault videos, is that you come across a surprise. You know, you think you know all the movies that a guy did, and then all of a sudden you come across something like this. You know nothing about. Maybe I've seen it. I don't remember. And it's a, and it's a real treat to find these kind of movies where. That you didn't know existed or don't remember uh, having watched. Uh, also, I picked up Ip Man with Donnie Yen. Of course, he was in Rogue One. Uh, love this series too. Um, I well, months ago I, I picked up an Ip Man, thinking it was this one, but it was like the prequel. And this is the first official Ip Man with Danny, Donnie Yen. So, looking forward to watching that again. Picked up a Battlestar Galactica, the miniseries. This was the miniseries that led up to the main series of Battlestar Galactica, which is a reboot of, of the Battlestar Galactica series in the 80s. At least, I, to my understanding, it's a reboot. Um, I, I, I only watched season 2 because I own season 2.5, and I watched a couple of episodes of the first season, so I want to get uh, some more Battlestar Galactica, because uh, what I've seen, I, I've enjoyed. Uh, picked up the original Latin Kings of Comedy. This is a sequel to the original Kings of Comedy, with Cedric the Entertainer, but this one has a lot of Latin comedians. Looking forward to popping this in and laughing for a bit. Uh, for my Jim Carrey collection, I picked up the incredible Burt Wonderstone. Wonderstone? Wonderstone, yeah. And uh, it's basically about Steve Carell from 40 Year Old Virgin, who's like this uh, David Copperfield kind of guy. And he meets Jim Carrey, and he's like this Chris Angel kind of magician. And uh, he, Jim Carrey's character is taking up all the fame that used to be for Steve Carell, so he has to rediscover why he loved doing magic. And uh, I grew up in a time where they would, in prime time no less, they would showcase uh, the magical feats of David Copperfield. And uh, it was an event, you know, he would, today, David Copperfield will make an elephant disappear, and the elephant disappears, and uh, in a month would be David Copperfield disappears, the, uh, what did he disappear once? The Statue of Liberty, and boom, disappears the Statue of Liberty. And today, David Copperfield will levitate and fly like Peter Pan. So it was a big deal. I, I remember watching that with my parents and being, being like, amazed at the stuff that David Copperfield would do. So uh, this seems like a good throwback to that, and uh, I haven't seen it, but I want to pop that in. And finally, last movie before my memory runs out, I finally picked up a copy of A League of Their Own with Gina Davis, Tom Hanks, and Madonna. This is going for my Tom Hanks collection. I've been hunting for this movie. This and Splash. I've seen Splash at Walmart, but um, I haven't gotten around to buying it. But this, this I, I've, I've wanted to get. Really funny. Uh, uh, Tom Hanks is this washed up uh, baseball coach. This is during the, the war. So all the men are in the war. So to keep people entertained they uh they start up a women's baseball division and so they bring in tom hanks and he doesn't want to do it he doesn't want to deal with women uh he's like you know the surly drunken mentor for this baseball team and uh gina davis is the one with the talent uh and and there's this scene i always i always remember like 
there's this, uh, I don't remember the actress, but she's crying, like, <laughs> she's crying. And like, yeah, are you crying? Uh, Tom Hanks says, are you crying? There's no crying in baseball. And then, you know, tries to <laughs> get her to do, uh, I really, really like this movie. Uh, and I'm super glad to finally add it to the collection. Finally. Because again, Movie Freak always has this. I actually bought this at a flea market, market but every time Movie Freak posts it on his page, uh, and they, they always beat me to it, so really happy. I still need to get Splash to add to my uh, Bill Murray collection. But, yeah, that was the uh, movie collection. Uh, I always try to recommend the standouts. And it's a hard watch again, but I would recommend Lock Up. Watch Lock Up. It's 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 very it's very hard because Stallone suffers through a lot in this movie, but I I thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, Ip Man, if you like martial arts, if you like martial arts, rec I would definitely recommend Ip Man. There's three of these and the prequel, like I mentioned. So check them out. Uh, so yeah, that was the collection pickup video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, and until I see you all again, this is Vargas. Thanking you all and signing out.